Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Pippa Bears and I'm one of the researchers who have helped create Project AIR. Project AIR was developed in 2017 by a group of academics at the University of Wollongong in collaboration with Jess Baker at the University of New South Wales, a group of community artists and a teacher. The aim of this project is to help children better understand dementia and people living with dementia, both in their families and the community. The lesson is aimed at children aged eight to nine years. Some of these children will have heard of the term dementia before, while others may have never heard the word dementia. We piloted this project with over 100 students during a three week period. In week one, the children received an art lesson led by the local community artists where they drew a picture of a memory. In week two, the children received a one hour lesson about dementia from their classroom teacher. Then in week three, the children received a second art lesson with the local artist where they changed their original artwork to reflect the experiences of someone living with a dementia. The video that you're about to watch presents the lesson the children are given about dementia. The presenter is a teacher who developed the lesson together with the university academics. The video is an example of how the teacher would present the lesson in a classroom. We would like to find out what you think about the information on dementia being taught to the children. At the end of the video, there will be a short survey for you to complete about the content of the lesson. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We hope you enjoy it. The learning intention today is we are learning to understand what dementia is and how to relate to people who have this condition. We are learning that dementia is more than just memory loss, unpredictable, progressive, and that no cure has been found yet. It's not contagious and not just a condition that old people live with. And we are learning that people with dementia are still people and should be treated with respect and kindness. What I'm looking for in today's lesson, I'm looking for students to communicate their new learning about dementia and how to relate with people who have this condition through discussion, writing, drawing and creating. For activity one, what do I already know about dementia? On your worksheet under activity one, could you please write what you can about dementia, what you already know? If you don't know anything yet, it's okay to leave it. Why are we learning about dementia? Well, this is because dementia is one of the biggest health problems today. By understanding this condition, we can provide better care and support to people who live with dementia and the families as well. For activity two, my personal experiences with someone who has dementia. We're going to do a think pair share. Can you turn to your partner and have a think about and a chat about whether or not you know someone who has dementia? Next, I want you to talk about whether they are related to you or a friend or family member. Next, talk about how old that person might be or those people. Talk about how they behave similar to you and also how they behave differently to you. And lastly, if you can talk to your partner about how their behaviour has changed over time. My personal experiences with someone who has dementia. Can you complete your worksheet for activity number two? Relating to people who have dementia, a shared personal experience. activity three on your worksheet we are going to be first watching an animation called what is dementia while you're watching the clip i would like for you to think about the following questions one what is dementia two what things become harder with dementia and if you could write your answers using keywords or sentences that would be fantastic it's quite normal to become forgetful as you get older but some people develop more serious problems and worry that these might be the first signs of dementia. There are many different reasons why you might be having memory problems. Things like stress, depression and vitamin deficiencies. There's also something called mild cognitive impairment. A mild memory problem that doesn't significantly affect your life. 
Dementia is memory loss that gets progressively worse. It can make it hard to make plans, carry out day-to-day -day tasks and communicate with others. You might find it hard to recall recent events or particular words, or to remember the names of things. Dementia also affects a person's mood, judgement and personality. For activity four on your worksheet, I would like you to have a little listen to this song. It's called I Will Remind You and the song is written and sung by Brian Asselin. Listen to the song. Use your worksheet and draw or write some key words, pictures or sentences explaining how the person telling the story helps their grandmother who suffers from dementia. Feel free to use pictures or keywords or write your sentences as you listen to the song or after you have listened to the song. Staring out your window Searching for your past A lifetime full of memories Slipping through your grasp You see those pictures on the mantel Tell the story of your life A glimpse into your history Of days long past by When the photos start to fade the brain and the changes caused by dementia. If we take a closer look at the brain, we can learn more about how it works. We will also learn about the changes caused by dementia. Using the interactive, you can first look at the temporal lobe. That's the yellow section highlighted and learn a little bit about that. Next, have a little look at the frontal lobe. That's colored in orange. The parietal lobe or the purple section also has information about how that section of the brain works. And lastly, have a little look at the occipital lobe, the light blue section at the back. For activity five, can you please complete your worksheet with some key words about how the brain works? Did you know that it's not just older people that get dementia? There are people in their thirties that live with dementia too. Watch the video clip to listen to people who live with dementia speak about what part about living with dementia is difficult and what they would like people to know about living with dementia. What should people know about what it's like to live with dementia? Yeah, I don't know. What should, I, what should they know? What should I know? I think they should know everything about it. Oh, trying to understand my mind is difficult for anybody, let alone me. I, th I think people need to understand, uh, friends, relatives, or just people you meet uh, casually, they need to understand that it is a disease that's not catching, <laughs> right? It's not violent, but it is something that is common amongst aging people. I think that, that some people no longer wish to be with me because they don't know what to say. I felt like uh, I wasn't as valued in my condition and I noticed that friends disappeared. People are frightened of it. People are shy. Anyone that I'm with knows that I've got, um, got dementia 
and that I'm not embarrassed about that and they should not be embarrassed about it. If anybody tried to tease me over my dementia, I'd say, well, I don't know why you're worrying because I'm only going to burst out laughing. There's a lot of loneliness associated with it. Um, as hard as you might try, it's, it's, it's a bit hard when you're on your own to get up, um, think clearly, don't set the kitchen on fire, which I did a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> and they say you've got to keep active or swimming and that well somehow or other over the time I've lost my swimming effort now I can't sort of float enough to swim I don't know why and you become afraid of things that you don't know um, that you don't know are real and um, it's confusing sometimes it's important that you are prepared to uh, divulge what, what your challenges are and let your friends help you. You know, I haven't hidden this from anyone. I think they need to know that you need support. Our dementia doesn't mean that we've not lost everything. For activity six, we are learning about what can be changed in the home and how the people in the community can help people who live with dementia. Use the interactive resource called Heather's House to see what changes can be made in the home to help someone living with dementia. Some of the questions you can think about as you use the interactive are, what problems can you see in the house? How could you help someone living with dementia? Add your ideas to the worksheet under activity six. It's called What Can Be Changed in Homes in the Community to Help People Living with Dementia. Next, we're going to listen to some children talk about how it feels to have a loved one with dementia. These are the questions I'd like you to think about while you're watching and listening. What did you learn? How do relatives feel about having a family member who lives with dementia? Can you add some ideas or thoughts to your worksheet under Activity 6 or in another area? Tell me, who do you know that has dementia? My grandma. My father. My grandma. My dad. My grandfather. My grandpa. My grandpa has dementia. Explain to me what it's like. I guess it's not as easy as many people may think and it's hard to understand that because many people around you don't know what you're going through. If you know the relative before they've had dementia, it's a drastic difference and it's terrifying. Sometimes when we left him once, he tried to jump off our um, balcony. He was having hallucinations a lot more and then he was like, oh, they're coming for me, they're coming for me. It's really sad because you know someday you're not going to exist to her and you're, you might, she might think you're just a normal person and won't know you're her grandson. She didn't smile for years and um, one of the good moments was when she finally smiled. We were playing a game and I said something to make her laugh for the first time in years, so it was good. Everyone who has friends and they say that, they're like, oh yeah, look on the bright side of things. And I'm just like, what bright side of things? I just want to remember before I knew my grandma had dementia, before I knew that life was hard, I won't remember that. Moment. There's no positive things. See, there's no positive things about this. I would tell you if you're about to go through the same thing as me, it's not going to get good. It's going to get worse. It's going to be horrible and you're probably going to have the worst couple of years in your life. But in the end, everything happens for a reason. I think he loves me. He always says yes when I put my thumbs up or thumbs down. I know that he knows that I'm there and everybody else is there. Even if they don't remember you in the end, you know, there'll be some part of them that still remembers. He might not be able to open his mouth and speak, but I know that he is trying and I know that he wants to. I'm glad that I still have my father who's alive, who hasn't divorced with my mother, who is partially happy whether he's happy or not. I still have him. Their life has been cut short and yours hasn't. So you just have to you know, make the most of it while they're still around. Our final reflection for our lesson today. 
is another think pair share. If you can turn to your partner and have a think about what you have learned about dementia. Compare your worksheet to the person next to you. What are the similarities and differences? And can you add any ideas to your worksheet? Hopefully we have learned that dementia is more than just memory loss, is unpredictable, progressive, and that no cure has been found yet. It's not contagious and not just a condition that old people live with that people with dementia are still people and should be treated with respect and kindness.